Okay, hello everybody. So today, I'm going to be upgrading the solid state storage in my computer because I only have 128 gigabytes to work with right now. And uh, it's not enough because I have been running into errors on Photoshop with uh, the scratch disks being full, meaning I need more space to work with. So, I have this one terabyte solid state drive that I'm going to replace the current one with. And uh, we're going to do that right now. Now I have all of the tools necessary, hopefully, so that I don't lose anything in the process, like all my important data or anything. And hopefully nothing will go wrong. <laughs> but we will see what happens. So I came prepared with a lot of stuff. I got a lot of stuff backed up on OneDrive. And whatever I cannot back up on OneDrive is backed up on this. So I have backups of all of the stuff in the videos folder on here because it's more than the space that I have available to me for the cloud backup. Everything else is backed up on the cloud. And I also, just in case things go wrong, made a recovery drive. So if I need to use that, I will. Now, with a Surface Pro 7 Plus or newer, you can upgrade the solid state drive yourself. All you do is take a little paper clip and jam it in the hole there. And that pops this thing off. And there you can see the drive. 128 gigabytes right now. I'm going to go ahead and swap this out for a new 1 terabyte solid state drive. It's the same size. It's going to fit. I have made sure of that. Let's get to it. Alright, so first thing is obviously to swap out the drives. So, take a, uh, I don't know if I have the proper screwdriver for this, but I have to get this little screw out. It's a very small screw, so I might need to find a smaller screwdriver. But you have to take the little thing out here. That way you can pop the uh, drive out, and then... I'll be able to put this new one in its place. You can see it's a perfect size and everything. I'm gonna need a small screwdriver, so I'll be right back with that. Okay, so I did manage to find the uh, screwdriver, but it turns out it was the same size as this one here. And this, you can't see it, it's not in focus, but it's one of those stupid six-sided screws. So, how I managed to get it out is I took my flathead screwdriver and I went in at a steep angle and went like this and I was eventually able to uh, get it out. I don't suggest doing that yourself, especially if you actually have the proper equipment. I would just use the proper equipment instead of doing the DIY, don't have the right tools strategy of jamming in a flathead at a steep angle. But anyways, now I can uh, take this old drive out of here. I might need to get something under it in order to get it up. Yep, there we go. Okay, this might be, not be as easy as I thought. Alright, take the flat head, put it underneath, and there we go, I got it. So here's the old SSD 128 gigabytes. Now I'm going to go ahead and put in the new 1 terabyte SSD right here. Alright. Now, in order to make sure you don't screw anything up, make sure that they are both the same orientation, the same size, same everything. Like so. And, uh, yeah. Now I will go ahead First of all, put it back in focus. And put this new SSD into the slot there. A little bit hard to uh, do with one hand. So, uh, 
and I may need to, uh, yeah, using the uh, flathead screwdriver to help line it up is definitely working. If you have it in the right position, it should just go in. Yep. There we go. I think that I got it in all the way. Yeah, I think I do. But we'll see. Now, I don't know if I need to put the screw back in. Hopefully, putting this back on will be enough to hold this thing in place. So, yeah. There is a new SSD in place of the old one. Now, I'm going to have to reset up my computer because all of the memory is on this side. SSD. So it's going to be like starting from scratch. I'll have to reinstall Windows and get all my backups put in place. Okay, I had to put my computer on the uh, the charger for some reason. It's booting up. Alright, looks like I'm going to need my recovery drive. Okay. So I'm now going to boot from the recovery drive. I'm using the recovery drive to uh, recover the PC because, yeah, new SSD. Obviously no data on it, so it has to be completely reinstalled and recovered. All of the data is on the old drive, so yeah. I'm going to have to uh, reconfigure everything, and uh, once that is done, I can put all my backups back in place, and we will be good. Alright, so... Uh the recovery drive was not working, so I'm now going to try doing a system image. I've put the old SSD back in, so I can uh, try a different method. Okay, update number, lost count. The uh, system image thing also didn't work out because there's one particular folder that did not want to copy over to the drive there. So I'm now reformatting the drive again, and I'm going to do a clean install. That's what I was hoping to do from the beginning, but the new uh, SSD didn't come with an install of Windows, so I'm going to have it on the drive. That way I can install it from the drive onto the new SSD, and then hopefully recover everything once that's all set up. If that doesn't work, though... My old SSD still works. I popped it back in and my computer just booted up as if nothing ever happened. So, yeah. If uh, it doesn't work out, then uh, nothing is lost. So, it's kind of just a, either a win or a no progress situation. Alright, computer is now shut down again. So, I'm going to put this back in and hope for the best. Hopefully a clean install is what I needed to do. Alright, we are now on to the reinstallation onto the new solid state drive. When it loaded up, it said it had like 900 something gigabytes and it is close enough to one terabyte, which is what the capacity is rated at. So it looks like we might be good to go here once this installation finishes. Progress. Okay, we're on this screen now, so I believe it is currently in the process of installing. It says getting ready, so I think it's initializing. And hopefully everything will be good from there. Alright, back to the startup screen. Maybe the installation finished? Okay. Yep. We're getting to the setup screen now. So uh, I'm going to do all of that. I'm not going to show anything of this because it's going to include some personal 
details. Yeah, looks like it's installed. So now I just have to uh, confirm all of the settings, go through the setup again, and we should be good to go. Alright, I've just signed back in. Now I can recover all my stuff. This is going really well. Restore. This might take a while, but this is a very good sign. Things are going pretty well so far. Even though we had a few hurdles and I had to try multiple different methods, now things are looking good. Alright, backups are now being restored. And, uh, yeah, I know it looks horrible on the camera. It's very glary, but... It says this might take a few minutes. I think you can actually read that. It looks like that's showing up. But yeah, it's gonna set everything up. I put in the settings and hopefully everything works as expected and I get all of my stuff back. Okay, we are in and I'm already seeing some of my stuff. So, uh, yep. Although I might have to reconnect my uh, devices and reconfigure some settings. Some of my apps appear to be here. Well, my taskbar is saved. It looks like I might have to re-download everything. However, we're in. This is what it looks like. I'm going to get rid of this and uh, configure everything. Okay, the taskbar has gone back to normal. And before I uh, re-download all my stuff, let's take a look at storage. Ah, yes, look at that. In case you can't really see that, let me just zoom in on it. 952 gigabytes. And I now have to re-download everything. Okay. So, uh, I've reinstalled some apps, mainly the ones that I'm going to be using a lot. Including my browser, you can see on the taskbar. So my browser, Photoshop, Lightroom, VSDC, and some other apps that I have on my taskbar are now reinstalled. And as you can see... Still much space left. Thank you new 1TB solid state drive. The upgrade was a success, and I am glad I have a lot more space to work with now. And, uh, it's definitely gonna help in the long run. And now, real quickly, before I end the video, 4th of July is tomorrow, today is the 3rd, so I'm going to be making a 4th of July special, hope you're looking forward to it. And now that I've got a lot more space to work with on my computer, that is gonna help with my creativity and stuff, and I can make better and more videos now, so, yeah. Glad that I've upgraded my computer, glad that it was a success, even though there were some hurdles. Hope you're looking forward to uh, everything else I've got planned over the summer and in the future in general. And, uh, yeah. Happy early 4th of July, you can hear fireworks out there. That's gonna do it for this video, thank you for watching, and, uh, I'll see you in the next one.